Hey piggy people! So today's video was going to be a cage cleaning video. I had every intention of making one. I plugged in my GoPro, charged it, had everything set to go, and I found that I just couldn't make the video. I am at a place right now where I think I'm not going to continue making guinea pig videos. My passion has been guinea pigs for like the last 11 years. And when I first started YouTube, I was so excited to make videos on every single topic or even just sharing the piggies doing cute things. And over the last year and a bit, my passion has fizzled. Now I don't want that to be misconstrued to think that I don't love my guinea pigs or that I'm going to rehome them or something crazy like that absolutely adore everyone here and they're gonna live out their natural lives with me but I have lost that spark right now I have lost the want to make videos and I found the last year and a bit have really drained me emotionally and I found that coming into the guinea pig room for a long time now has just brought dread to me and I'm just saying this to be honest my channel has always been honest and this is how I honestly feel right now I have battled so hard for so many pigs within the last year and a half and I have lost pigs after battling and I feel exhausted and I feel like I can't win and I just am not in a place where I feel like making happy, cute, cheery videos about the guinea pigs. So last year I lost Apple and I lost Pecan. Those two were the most lovable piggies I have ever owned. They adored attention and being pet. And it was a really big hit losing them. And then obviously, as you guys know, this year I lost all three skinny pigs to their bodies just shutting down. And each one was like a horrible experience. And then I lost Reese. And I fought for Reese since the start of this year. Every day, twice a day, cleaning her abscess, praying that it would heal. And then when her st teeth started to go crappy, I had to make the choice for her to say goodbye. And I had fought so hard, and it got me nowhere. And now I'm in the exact same spot with Velvet. She has the exact same issue as Reese. And here I am, fighting every single day to try to clear up her abscess, to try to keep her teeth tidy and I find I have no patience I get frustrated so easily and that's not who I used to be I get frustrated I get upset and I find myself saying like why am I even doing this like this is ridiculous like why is this happening why do I have to go through this again why do I have another pig with a issue that I can't fix I I can't do it. I obviously am going to keep fighting for Velvet and praying that I can get her abscess to heal again. We're going to be going back to the vet to have her teeth checked to see that they're okay and to see if there's any other antibiotic or medication that I can flush it with. Like I'm going to keep fighting for her. But man, I'm tired. And it's been so many years that I've had a pig on medication. I, I can't remember the last time that I've ever had a break that I haven't had to give a medication out every morning and every night. I couldn't even tell you. And I know this might come off as like I'm whining or complaining. I'm just telling you guys the truth. This is just how I feel. So every piggy in this room is special to me and I look after them and love them. But my passion for making videos has kind of gone, which is sad. If I 
had somebody telling me that, oh, in 10 years, you're going to not like making guinea pig videos, I would have been like, oh, you're crazy. I always love making guinea pig videos. But I feel like, I don't, I just feel blah. Because I feel like every time, as I said, and I come in here, it's, oh, what are we going to have to deal with now? It's been so stressful. Because as you know, anytime a guinea pig has a problem, time's a ticking. It's not like you can think about it or see how they are the next day. If something's wrong, you got to get them looked after right away. And usually the first thing that happens when they're not feeling right is they don't want to eat. And it's critical that they keep eating. And then when a pig doesn't want to eat and you try to make them eat, they fight you. It's draining. Very, very draining. So I just need a break. As I said, I'm going to continue carrying on for all these piggies. I love them so much. But I will not be getting any more guinea pigs. They have thoroughly exhausted me. And I can't even tell you how much money I have spent since the beginning of last year trying to save pigs who I couldn't even save. It's insane. And I still have more vet bills to come. It's lost its luster, I guess you could say. When all it is is illness after illness after illness, it's really, really hard to see the good. And I try to remind myself to enjoy them, enjoy everybody who's being healthy, but there's always been a pig who's not doing well. And then you get tunnel vision for that pig who's not doing well. And then you think, oh wow, so the only pig I pay the most attention to is the ones that aren't feeling well. And I don't even get to sit back and enjoy the ones who are feeling great. Because I'm so focused on trying to fix or save a guinea pig that doesn't feel right that I don't see the ones that are doing well. Obviously, I interact with the ones that are doing well. I hopefully you know what I mean. It's just when somebody's not right, you just like fixate on them. The first thing when you come into the room, it's like, where's that pig? How are they doing? Are they eating okay? How are their poops? Oh, do they have the infection coming back? It's just a lot. And I know some people might not understand how I feel. Maybe some of you do. I don't know. You can leave your comments below and I respect that people are going to be disappointed that I'm not going to make videos. I do have my Instagram for the pigs, which I'm sure I'll keep posting things on there and I can post little clips on there. But as for making like full videos, I'm sorry guys. I've just lost the motivation to do so. And um, I know some of you have been following my cat Sammy. And I have made him a channel, and I know people might not understand how I can make cat videos but not make guinea pig videos. But Sammy has been kind of like a positive outlet that's kind of distracted me. I've been trying really hard to tame him and get him used to people. And that's been an enjoyable experience. And it's been different because I've never had another pet except for guinea pigs. I mean, growing up we had other pets, but I mean, as an adult, I've only had guinea pigs. So having a cat that I took in from outside, it's been a welcome distraction. And I've enjoyed learning as I go about cats. So I've kind of focused my energies that way. And that outlet right now is positive to me. And I don't want to say, like, guinea pigs are negative to me, because that's not what I mean. I just, it's just it's exhausting. I know I've used exhausting a lot, but I can't find a better word. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning and I know I need to come down here and clean out Velvet's neck, it's hard to even get going, because I'm just like, oh, what will I find? Will it be better, or will it have just filled back up again? Round and round we go. So I just want to thank everybody who's supported me over the years. 
and I really appreciate it and I hope I'll see you guys on Instagram and I'm going to keep my channel up obviously so that people can watch all the videos they would like and learn still because I still love all my videos that are up anyway guys I'll see you guys later bye if you like watching guinea pig videos learning how to care for us seeing product hauls or reviews or really anything else guinea pig please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video down below i've left two more videos for you to pick from so keep on watching